This is the right time for us to hold our ground because we are in the fight against our enemy. When you fight, your enemy is standing. And if you stand, what will happen? You will be able to defeat him. But if you remain down and your enemy is standing, the enemy will have a chance to defeat you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we ready to deliver ourselves? Hallelujah. Amen. Boys. Boys. South. I have a new guys. Suck yourself. Pray hard. Omba. Girls are doing well than you. Right? They've been shocking ourselves. Girls are doing well. You have to do the same. Feel free. We are not in the court of law. We are before our gods. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Free yourself. It's now a time to deliver yourself. If you have bad thinking, bad thought outside, free yourself from them. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are struggling in your heart, free yourself from that thought. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Pray now. Pray, pray, pray. Pray to God. Pray. Release yourself. Deliver yourself. Deliver yourself. We have come to the Father knowing that. You are not
So let me read in one version of language and you will read on your own. Let's follow each other in this reading. Number 48 of John chapter 8, the Bible says, They asked Jesus, Were we not right in saying that you are a Samaritan and have a demon in you? Then, Jesus answered, I have no demon. I honor my father, but you dishonor me. Number 50 says, I am not seeking honor for your soul, but there is no one who is seeking it and who judges in my favor. 51 says, I'm telling you the truth. I am telling you the truth. Underline that. Whoever obeys my teaching will never die. Number 50, 52. They said to him, Now, we are certain that you have a demon in you. Abraham died, and the prophet died. Yet you say that whoever obeys your teaching will never die. 53 says, Our father Abraham died. You do not claim to be greater than Abraham then. Do you? And the prophets also died. Who do you think you, you are? Number 54 says, Jesus answered him, answered them, If I were not, if I were to honor myself, that honor would be worth nothing. The one who honors me, it, it is my father alone. The very one you say is your father, God. <clears throat> 55 says, you have never known him then, but I know him. If I were to say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you. <laughs> but I do know him, and I obey him, my father. 56 says, Your father Abraham, that you say, you rejoice that he was, he was, the, the, your father Abraham rejoiced that he was to see the time of my coming. Your father Abraham, the father, your father, you say, you claim to be your father Abraham, you know, he, he claims, he claimed, he, he rejoiced that he would be able to be happy to see the time of my coming. He saw it and was glad. And then, 57 says, They said then to him, You are not even 50 years old, you, and you have seen Abraham? 58 says here, I am telling you the truth. That's 58. Jesus is replying, Before Abraham was, before he was born, I am. Before Abraham was born, I am. 59 says, Then they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus, him, but Jesus hid himself and left the temple. Praise the living God. Amen. Would you read that, that word in a very good version? of Swahili that we may understand. Just read it quietly, very nicely, that we, we understand that word. Tunaisoma katika jina la Yesu, Kiswahili. Yohana, sura kia mnane, mstari wa makumi, mnane, arbaina nane, mpaka msimatisi. Mpaka tenkatinevu. Wayahudi wakajibu wakamambia, je, sisi hatusemi vema ya kwamba wewe umsamaria na unapepo? Yesu akajibu mimi sina pepo. Lakini mimi na mheshimu baba yangu 
na nini mwanivunjia heshima yangu wala mimi si utafuti utukufu wangu yuko mwenye kutafuta na hukumu amina amini nawaambia mtu akilishika neno langu hataona mauti milele basi wayahudi wakamwambia sasa tumenga tumenga mua ya kuwa una pepo Ibrahim amekufa na manabii wamekufa nawe wasema mtu akilishika neno langu hataona mauti milele wewe umku kuliko baba yetu Ibrahim ambaye amekufa nao manabii wamekufa wajifanya unani Yesu akajibu Nikijitukuza mwenyewe utukufu wangu si kitu. Mhm. Anitukuzae ni baba yangu ambaye nyinyi mwanena kuwa ni Mungu wenu. Wala nini hamkujua lakini mimi namjua. Nikisema ya kwamba simujui nitakuwa Mungu kama nini. Lakini namjua na neno lake nalishika. Ibrahim baba yenu alishangilia vile atakavyoiona siku yangu naye akaiona akafurahi basi wayahudi wakamwambia wewe hujapata bado miaka hamsini. nawe umemwona Ibrahim Yesu akawaambia amin amin nawaambia yeye Ibrahim asijakuwa asijakuwa kwako mimi niko basi wakaokota mawe ili wamtupie lakini Yesu akajificha akatoka hekaluni amen amen, amen. amen. praise god hallelujah amen actually let us combine also with one verse uh, we we take isaiah chapter for a better comprehension Isaiah chapter 9 uh, verse 6 vizuri tukakamata Isaiah Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 Isaiah sura ya 8 mstari wa chapter 9 verse 6 Isaiah sura ya 9 mstari wa 6 Isaiah sura ya 9 wala tisa mustadhi wake wa sita mm. inasema mm-hmm. maana kwa ajili yetu mtoto amezaliwa mm-hmm. tumepewa mtoto mwanamume mm-hmm. na uweza wa kifalme utakuwa bezani mwake mm-hmm. naye ataitwa jina lake mshauri wa ajabu mm-hmm. mungu mwenye nguvu baba wa milele mfalme wa amani amina amen mm-hmm. actually when i when i bring all this what we are reading about here is to try to illustrate to you uh, the birth of jesus because the word we are going to talk about it is the importance of his birth the importance the importance of the importance of his birth umuhimu wa kuzaliwa kwa bwana yesu because when you read the chapter in the bible try to read the four chapter the chapter before that one for you to understand the next chapter isaiah 8 is also explaining jesus in the world is exposing jesus the word in the world god who is saying talking to his people So here now because of the hardness of the children of God So God has to show himself then And the purpose of God was in John chapter 3 verse 16 For you to not perish but to have the everlasting life. Because many had already perished for lack of knowledge. Chapter 4 verse 6 of the book of Hosea 
The Bible is trying to talk about the perish, the perishment of the, the Israelites. And now God has to come back for his people to redeem them. God spoke to them but they never understood they remained into, into sin they walked into sin Amen, eh? Amen. they did what they wanted they did what they wanted Amen, eh? Amen. therefore the Lord Him shall give you a sign behold a virgin shall give, shall, be, shall, shall conceive, and bear a son, and he shall be named Emmanuel. Isaiah 7, 14. The Bible says there. He shall be called Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Amen. But when you read in Isaiah chapter 9 and the verse 6, the Bible, the Bible is revealing his coming. But he shall come to be born. Hallelujah. Amen. Why then did we read John chapter 8? Why did we read John chapter 8 verse 44 to, 40, to, 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 to 59? We want to reveal Jesus in this word. Who he is. Because in, in, in John 8, 48 and, and, and 59, the Bible says that Jesus, he answers, he answers the Jews. He says to them, before Abraham, you, you have faith, you had faith and two. You believed into Abraham's teaching. Before he came, even him, he wanted to see me. But, of course, he saw me and he believed into me. That's why he said, because he's ensuring them that before that Abraham was, he was. That's why Abraham believed into him. It's a revelation. He saying to them that Abraham, who preached about God, he was preaching about Jesus. I said, he believed, he faced, he rejoiced to see Jesus. He said, I would, I would rejoice to see Jesus. And Jesus says here, and he saw Jesus. He saw him. He believed in him. Because he's explaining them there in 59. Before Abraham was, I was. This is the Old Testament. In Yagan Vakali. Yes, so I wanna wait a comma Ava Abraham Waku and Mimi Nikua. So come on, I'll call my mini Abraham when I kill up my mini yes to Ishaka Wami and Abraham Ali Fraya Sana Kuniona Nali Niona Kafurai. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you. Achani Kwandi. Today the whole world Leo Dunia Mzima is celebrating what we are calling Christmas. You can shine about in a sema. Christmas. The birth of Christ. It is good. Amen. Eh? Amen. It is good the whole world is celebrating. But unfortunately, there are those who are celebrating, they don't know what they are celebrating. Amen. Eh? Amen. That's why we receive a lot of gifts here and there. But all those gifts are not about, about Jesus. Some other people who are bringing you gifts, they tell you, Jesus, you are talking about, I don't know about him. He's just a culture. But what cannot be denied is one thing is this. In Matthew chapter 1 and, and, and chapter 2, Matthew chapter 1, the Bible says that Jesus was born. Amen, eh? Amen. In, in chapter 2, it emphasizes about the coming of Jesus, the birth of Jesus. Amen, eh? Amen. When you read in uh, Luke, Luke chapter 1 and chapter 2, in, in the book of Luke is showing the coming of Jesus. Luke, Jesus was born. Luke is emphasizing showing the coming of Jesus. Luke, Jesus was born. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, all the gospel we read, 
The writers of the gospel, they agree that Jesus, he was born. Because in Isaiah chapter 9, God says through his prophet, Isaiah, because it's a prophetic word, a book, he says that Jesus will, will come to be born. This is chapter 9. And he will have all the powers upon his shoulder. He will be called Prince of Peace. Counselor. Amen. Eh? The bearer of your, of your challenges and your, and your, and your, and your afflictions. Amen, eh? Amen. The savior of the whole world. He is fulfilling what is written in John chapter 3 verse 16. For God of the world. And he gave his only golden son, Jesus Christ. So John is revealing Jesus here as a son. Amen, eh? Amen. God is presenting himself here in uh, the book of Isaiah as a son, as a flesh. He will come in flesh here on the east and uh, in, in the in the east to redeem his people. Yes, so and Hallelujah. Amen. Because of what? Because of what Hoseas is talking about is going to do his statement. He states that my people, God is saying is a prophetic word Hoseas, that my people are perishing for lack of knowledge. That's what must reign. Amen. Eh? Amen. So who is Jesus? Yes, John chapter 1, verse 1. Moja Moja. So read there then. John chapter 1, verse 1. Read for right there then. Jesus then. Yes. Yes, amen. In the beginning, the word was already existing. The word was with God, and the word was God. So, let, let me ask you now a question. How come Jesus was born? He, how come he was born? That Abraham, who preached about God, he was preaching about Jesus. I said, he believed, he faith, he rejoiced to see Jesus, to see, he said, I, will, I would rejoice to see Jesus. And Jesus says here, and he saw Jesus. He saw him. He believed in him. Because he's explaining them there in 59, before Abraham was, I was. This is the Old Testament. In Yesu walikuwa na waeleza kwamba ava Abraham wakuwe, mimi nilikuwa. Kisi kwa mana walikuwa walimuamini Abrahamu, lakini wakumuamini Yesu. Kisha kawambia na Abraham alifuraya sana kuniona, na aliniona kafuraya. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you. Acha ni kuambia. Today the whole world. Leo dunia mzima. Is celebrating what we are calling Christmas. Iku na shangilia mbao tunasema. The birth of Christ. It is good. Amen. Eh? Amen. It is good the whole world is celebrating. But unfortunately, there are those who are celebrating, they don't know what they are celebrating. Amen. Eh? Amen. That's why we receive a lot of gifts here and there, but all those gifts are not about Jesus. Some other people who are bringing you gifts, they tell you, Jesus, you are talking about, I don't know about him, he's just a culture. But what cannot be denied is one thing is this. In Matthew chapter 1, the Bible says that Jesus was born. 
Matayo sura ya 12 nasema Yesu alizaliwa. Amen. Eh? Amen. And in chapter 2 emphasizes about the coming of Jesus, the birth of Jesus. Ya pili nayo inaonyesha kuja kwa Bwana Yesu, kuzaliwa kwa Bwana Yesu. Amen. Eh? Amen. When you read in uh, Luke, Luke chapter 1 and chapter 2, the, the, the book of Luke is emphasizing is showing the coming of Jesus. Luke Jesus was born. Luke nayo iko inaonyesha kuzaliwa kwa Bwana Yesu, Yesu alizaliwa. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, all the gospel we read, the writers of the gospel, they agree that Jesus, he was born. Because in Isaiah chapter 9, God says through his prophet, Isaiah, because it's a prophetic word, a book, he says that, Jesus yes. will, will come to be born. This chapter 9. And he will have all the powers upon his, his shoulder. He will be called Prince of Peace. Counselor. Amen. Eh? Amen. The bearer of your, of your challenges and your, and your, and your, and your afflictions. Amen, eh? Amen. The savior of the whole world. The fulfilling what is written in John chapter 3 verse 16. For God of the world. And he gave his only golden son, Jesus Christ. So, John is revealing Jesus here as a son. Amen, eh? Amen. God is presenting himself here in uh, the book of Isaiah as a son, as a flesh. He will come in flesh here on the east, and uh, in, in the in the east. To redeem his people. Yes, so and Hallelujah. Amen. Because of what? Because of what Hoseas is talking about is going to do his statement. He states that my people, God is saying is a prophetic word Hoseas, that my people are perishing for lack of knowledge. That's born astray. Amen, eh? Amen. So who is Jesus? Yes, John chapter 1, verse 1. Who is Jesus then? Yes. Yes, amen. In the beginning, the word was already existing. The word was with God, and the word was God. So, let, let me ask you now a question. How come Jesus was born? He, he, how come he was born? He was there before he was. Before Abraham. Abraham is meant to be a, 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 an old father of Jesus according to he took a nature of flesh. Now here we see the truth and the reality of the gospel. Amen, amen, eh? amen. Jesus is God the creator. Because the beginning in the, the Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says this same word was the word which created everything. Means Jesus celebrating the birth of Jesus sometimes may be wrong. You want to celebrate the day Jesus was born. Jesus was not born on the 24th, 25th. We are not celebrating the day of Jesus born. Amen, eh? Mm. So, in cannot happen that Jesus was born on the 24th or on the 25th. Jesus was born on the 24th or on the 25th. It cannot, you, we cannot prove it that Jesus was born, we cannot prove it that Jesus was born, we will be born the night of today. Or the night of yesterday. Some they are celebrating his birth, his birth yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Others they are, they are celebrating in January, others in February, others in April, others in, in, in June. We cannot prove it. 
mmoja hakuna ya mtu anaweza kuhakikisha na anaonesha kama alizaliwa leo jana mwezi wa kwanza wa pili wa tatu hapana haleluya amen. amen so this is what we what we say the lack of knowledge yeye ndio tunasema kosa maarifa but what is there here you read you take the the book of matthew kisoma tena matayo Take the book of Matthew 28:18. Matthew chapter 28 verse 18. The Bible says here, "Behold, then Jesus came to them and said, He came to them to the disciples and said, All the authority in heaven and on the earth has been given to me." Hallelujah. There is no impossibility before Jesus who came. Amen. Eh? Read that in in Swahili ma'am. Matayo 28. Mhm. Yeah. Yesu akaja uh-huh. nao akasema uh-huh. nao akawaambia uh-huh. Nimepewa mamlaka yote mbinguni na duniani. Uh-huh. Yes. He's the one this this power he's talking about is which is revealed in uh, Isaiah chapter 9. Verse 6 we read that he has been the authority of God has been come has come down through Jesus at his birth now himself is confirming what God said upon him hallelujah Yeye kuna sema ile ambayo Mungu alisema kuhusu Yesu ya kwamba mamlaka yote amempatia Amen Amen The importance of the first the first big the greatest importance of the coming the birth of Christ here on the earth why God came because we have understood that Jesus is God which I wanted us to want to understand Jesus is not just somebody who was born he came flesh for our salvation is an incarnation he put himself in flesh mysteriously you can't even analyze no science can explain it Because people they are perishing because of this. They cannot comprehend why how it happened and that. Because God is multi-system. He can do what he wants at any time. That's why he's the healer. He he bears, he takes all our afflictions. And doctors they will ask themselves, why are we doctors in the hospital? But Jesus can heal and he's the one who created us and gave us the knowledge. That is because there is what they can and what they can't. The only Jesus can in terms of circumstances. Amen. Amen. Yes. Ni Yesu tunyo anaweza mambo yote. Ye ilikuwa ni Mungu ambaye mwenyewe alijenkarne ndani ya mwanadamu akageuka akatifanya kuwa Yesu. Maana Yesu ni Mungu. Ndio kwa maana hata dunia wengi wamepotea kwa maana hiyo hawaelewi. Anasema nani na gani Mungu mwenyewe anaweza kuja kuzaliwa duniani kama mtu? Hiyo inachanganya watu. Lakini Mungu ni mkubwa, yeye anafanya mambo yote jinsi anataka na kwa wakati wowote anaotakia. So that word became flesh. Ndio neno ikakuwa mwili. All the gospel we read. Injili yote tunayoisoma. The writers of the gospel they agree that Jesus he was born. Wale walioandika injili walikubali kama Yesu alizaliwa. Because in Isaiah chapter 9. Kwa maana Isaiah 9. God says through his prophet. Yesu alizungumza na nabii nabii wake the prophetic word a book he says that jesus will, will come to be born this chapter 9 and he will have all the powers upon his shoulder he will be called prince of peace counselor Amen, eh? Amen. The bearer of your of your challenges and your and your, and your, and your afflictions. Amen, eh? Amen. The savior of the whole world. He is fulfilling what is written in John chapter 3 verse 16. For God loves the world. And he gave his only begotten son, the Jesus Christ. So John is revealing Jesus here as a son. Amen. Eh? God is presenting himself here in uh, the book of Isaiah as a son, as a flesh who will come in flesh here on the earth and in the in the earth to redeem his people. 
Yesu ana hapa Muisaya Mungu anajionyesha yeye ndani ya Yesu kwa ajili ya kupiga kongoa watu wake. Haleluya. Amen. Because of what? Because of what God says. He talking about his going to do his statement. He states that my people God is saying is a prophetic word of uh, of says that my people are perishing for lack of knowledge. That's gone astray. Hosea alisema hiyo kwamba watu wa Mungu walipotea kwa kutojua maarifa. Amen. Amen. So who is Jesus? Yesu ni nani? John chapter 1 verse 1. Yohana 1:1. So read there then. John chapter 1 verse 1. Read for right there then. Tuseme tusome hapo tena. Who is Jesus? Yesu ni nani? Yohana 1:1. Mm. Jesus then. Yes. Hapo mwanzo. Ndio. Wako neno. Mm. Naye neno alikuwa wako kwa Mungu. Mm. Naye neno alikuwa Mungu. Huyo mm. mwanzo alikuwa wako kwa Mungu. Mm. Yote vilifanyika kwa huyo. Yes. Amen. Amen. In the beginning the word was already existing. The word was with God and the word was God. And before Abraham was there, Jesus was. Yesu anasema ya kwamba kabla Abraham akuwe, Yesu alikuwa kwa shetani. Now you can you understand here the word which was creating everything, which created everything was him, he's the word. Tukunasikia kama neno lioumba kila kitu ni yeye. Because that word says he became flesh. He took a nature of flesh. Now here we see the truth and the reality of the gospel. Amen, amen, eh? amen. Jesus is God the creator. Because the beginning and the, the Genesis chapter 1, Bible says this same word was the word which created everything. Means Jesus celebrating the birth of Jesus sometimes may be wrong. You want to celebrate the day Jesus was born. Jesus was not born on 24th, 25th. We are not celebrating the day of Jesus born. Hatuko tunashangilia siku ambayo Yesu alizaliwa ni Vesengi 11:4 hapana. Amen. So, it cannot happen that Jesus was born on 24th or on 25th. Haiwezi eleweka kama Yesu alizaliwa 11:4, 11:5. It cannot you we cannot prove it that Jesus was born will be born the night of today. All the night of yesterday. Some they are celebrating his birth, his birth yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Others they are, they are celebrating in January, others in February, others in April, others in, a, in, a, in June. We cannot prove it. Hiyo hakuna ya mtu anaweza kuhakikisha na anaonesha kama alizaliwa leo, jana, mwezi wa kwanza, wa pili, wa tatu hapana. Jesus came to them and said. He came to them to the disciples and said. All the authority in heaven and on the earth has been given to me. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no impossibility before Jesus who came. Amen. Eh? Read that in the Swahili man. Matayo 28. Mm. Yeah. Yesu akaja uh -huh. nao akasema uh -huh. nao akawaambia uh -huh. Nimepewa mamlaka yote mbinguni na duniani. Uh -huh. Yes. He's the one this this power he's talking about is which is revealed in uh, Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 we read that he has been the authority of God has been come has come down through Jesus at his birth. Now himself is confirming what God said upon him. Hallelujah. Hiyo kuna sema ile ambayo Mungu alisema kuhusu Yesu ya kwamba mamlaka yote amempatia. Amen. Eh? Amen. The importance of the first the first big the greatest importance of the coming the birth of Christ here on the earth. Why God came because we have understood that Jesus is God, which I wanted us to want to understand. Jesus is not just somebody who was born, but was God who was born was God who came and to flesh he came he became flesh for our salvation is an incarnation he put himself in flesh 
mysteriously. You can't even analyze. No science can explain it. Because people, they are perishing because of this. They cannot comprehend why, how it happened and that. Because God is multi-system. He can do what he wants at any time. That's why he's the healer. He, he bears, he takes all our afflictions. And doctors, they will ask themselves, why are we doctors in the hospital? But Jesus can heal. And he's the one who created us and gave us the knowledge. That is because there is what they can and what they can't. Only Jesus can in some circumstances. Amen. Amen. Yes. Ni Yesu tunyo anaweza mambo yote. Ye ilikuwa ni Mungu ambaye mwenyewe alijenkarne ndani ya mwanadamu akageuka akatifanya kuwa Yesu. Maana Yesu ni Mungu. Ndio kwa maana hata dunia wengi wamepotea kwa maana hiyo hawaelewi. Anasema namu na gani Mungu mwenyewe anaweza kuja kuzaliwa duniani kama mtu? Hiyo inachanganya watu. Lakini Mungu ni mkubwa, ya anafanya mambo yote jinsi anataka na kwa wakati wowote anaotakia. So that word became flesh. And when the, the word no, there is what we say, we call to hear and to understand. You can hear somebody telling you something, but to understand what they told you is something else. Many they hear, but many they don't understand. But the first importance of Jesus to come here on the earth is to make our flesh become his flesh, become his temple, because he's, he was a spirit. Who came into spirit to incarnate into spirit through the spirit in a human being in marriage womb? Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew is confirming, Luke is confirming, Mark is confirming, the whole gospel is confirming. Say amen. Amen. Matthew na anakikisha kwamba Mungu Yesu alizaliwa ambaye ni Mungu roho aliingia ndani ya Bwana Yesu ndani ya mwili wa Maria Yesu akazaliwa. Injili yote inahakikisha kwamba Yesu alizaliwa. The Bible says, the Gospel of Matthew says, This man, Joseph, asked, How will it come to pass? Joseph and his, and his wife, they asked, How will it come to pass? The, the angel said to them, What you don't know, God he knows. It will happen through the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. So Jesus came through the power of the Holy Spirit to enter in the flesh to save you and me. That's where we are alive today. That's where we are, we are assembling ourselves today on his name and to praise him, to worship him because we know where he took us from through that. Say amen. Amen. Kupitia Roma takatifu na ndio kwa maana alikuja kuzaliwa kukomboa wewe na mimi na ndio maana mimi na wewe tunekala family hapa leo. When God dwells unto us. Mungu anapokuwa ndani yetu. When he takes our nature. Anapokamata utu. When we take up his nature as his believers. Tunapomkamata yeye. Amen. Eh? It is here where he begins to take all what we go through. Na ndio hapo anaanza kukamata hayo shida zetu zote. Until the nature of God is taken by you, by force and by might. Because it says, the kingdom of God shall be taken by those who are courageous. Amen, amen, eh? amen. Until you take the nature of God, of Jesus. Can I tell you something? Nothing will ever change into your life. The nature of the character of Christ. Until you take it, nothing will never change into your life. Hallelujah. Amen. And the nature of God. Number one, it is love. It is love. For God loves the world. For God loves the world. He gave his only God himself. So love is the foundation of a dwelling, a dwelling nature of God among us. The first thing which reflects us as the children of God is through His love, when we love each other. Not to love each other for sin. Amen. Don't tell your neighbor that we love each other, then you share sins together. He hates, he hates sin. 
Amen. Amen. So, the number two importance of Jesus' come, of Jesus' birth. The birth of Jesus Christ reveals the truth and the nature of God and for us. The truth reveals the truth. Because when we have the nature of God, is when we are called believers. We get the nature of God. We accept Jesus as our Lord and our Savior. We get His nature. We get redeemed. We, 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 we make a, a U-turn from where we were to another, another direction. In other words, we get saved. Say amen. But being saved, being saved, does not mean that you know the truth. Hello? Amen. We have so many people who are baptized in immense water, but still they are sinners. They don't know the truth. And this is why water will, not, will, will, never, will never save us. Hallelujah. Amen. Although water is the first step of salvation, to show people that you have taken you want and you have taken God's nature, the nature of Jesus, amen, is the first step. You cannot be as a, you cannot be a born again without some, without water, immense water. You can't. But still, until you know the truth, you never come to heaven. Because you cannot, and you cannot say I know the truth. But that truth has never set you free. Because we have three who testify according to First John chapter 5. We have three who testify. Number one, the spirit. Number two, water. Number three, the blood. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Water is an is a, is a example of Jesus himself as the living water. Means when we go to baptize, we are dark in water, deeply in most water, not sprinkling water. Kusema maji na tangulisha bana Yesu. Yakuamba wakati unaenda katika maji unazama ndani ya Yesu. You, ref, you reflect his nature by, by digging dark in water. Amen. Because Amen. he was barren. He was barren. And he woke up from the from the tomb. And this is why when we when we immerse him into water, we immerse him inside to show his nature, his death and his resurrection. Say amen. 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 But for you to go to heaven, you have to live his, you to live the, to live the truth. Hallelujah. He lived here for more than three years. He was baptized after he was 30 years old. Amen. Eh? Amen. But Amen. for the rest of his life, he never, he never did any, any, any wrong. He never went any, went through things. He never went and went under, under, under one thing into his life. So he's expecting you to, when you say he's my Lord and my Savior, that you have a righteous life. Say Amen. This depends on your baptism. Because somebody you love, you can't hide him. This is my wife. This is my wife. Amen. I love her. She's, we, we are together. If she, if she doesn't love me, she will not come here together with me. If somebody loves you, we will always show you to where they love him, they value him. Everywhere they value him, they will show you. Anyone who tells you he loves you, but he hits, eh, hits 
the reality. The other side for you. It doesn't love you. Disconnect from that relationship before the before before the before the time. So when you say I love God, the Bible says we you become as an open as a as a letter, a sent letter which is open to be read by anyone. Anyone can see from here from your forehead that you are a Christian. This is, this is when you become a Christian. You know the truth and you have known the truth. You become a, red, a, a written letter here on your forehead. Amen. Eh? Amen. Anyone will see Maro. Uh, is it is it Akira? Anyone who looks at Akira says, Ah, Akira, she looks like a Christian. You have you don't know what is inside. Inside is God and her who knows. Amen. Eh? But somebody who looks at you may see, may see the color, the nature of Christ and you. You know the one the, the, the world where we are living today, young men they want to to resemble America. When we talk about America, we're not talking about can, about the country, but the culture of Americans in what other words. The worldly culture there. Amen, eh? Amen. So you will see them dressing their hair as and I'm using, using chemical soaps. God created you on his own image. Others imitating funny things here on the wall. So you take the nature of God off. You begin, you begin looking like worldly people. There's no difference. Who looks at you cannot cannot distinguish you from a person who don't know Christ, has never known Christ in his life, and you who know Christ, who knows Christ. Amen, amen. Say to your neighbor, Jesus has been born. Yes, amen. To redeem us. Amen, amen. The Christmas we celebrate. Hallelujah. Amen. Christmas we celebrate. It, it is not a day we celebrate. We are not reading this one because Jesus was born today. No. Apana. Yes, we are going to do our worship. 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 We God wanted to save his world mysteriously. He can do anything he wants in a form he wants himself, through a form he wants himself. That's why he came in a flesh and he was born through Mary. Hallelujah. It is not bad to preach about the, 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 the birth of Jesus because he was born otherwise. Say amen. amen. We cannot erase this Bible. He, it is written, he has been born in four Gospels. Hallelujah. Amen. He was pre prophesied by the, by, the, by the prophets. Hallelujah. Amen. But Jesus doesn't know any day, anyhow, anywhere. Hallelujah. Amen. There's no picture of Jesus. This we call, when they, they put in the film which shows Jesus... Jesus has Jesus died on the cross, whatsoever the suffering of Jesus. That's not Jesus, please. It's not Jesus. Because Jesus is a spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is God, and God is a spirit. Nobody has seen God with eyes. Mysteriously, He came, He dwelled in flesh for Him to save His people. Who people they fail to understand the truth. He came as a truth himself to show that truth, to, inf to infiltrate that truth by fire, by force in his people, that they may be saved to say, Amen. 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 That's why we say, Abba, Baba. And put a young when you come up quailly. In the quailly, I know you come up quailly. Mama, what are you going to talk quailly? 
Walishindwa na kuelewa. Walikuwa wanasikia tu kwa maneno. Akakuta yeye mwenyewe kama kweli akavaa mwili. Akazaliwa tungu la Maria. Haleluya. Sio vibaya kusema Yesu alizaliwa. Tunahubiri Yesu alizaliwa sababu alizaliwa good gospel. Injili ile zote zinakubali, si ndio eh? Si ndio. Yesu hakuzaliwa leo wala kesho wala siku nyingine hakuna anayejua wana picha za filme zile za filme hakuna aliye na picha ya Yesu hamna maana yeye ni ni roho na roho hawezi kamata picha hawezi ona sayonana amen eh lakini sisi kama wakristo ili tangazo kwamba Yesu alizaliwa na kama Yesu alizaliwa lazima hii kumbukumbu katika maandiko matakatifu yasomwe kwa watu wote azaliwe njo mioyo yetu roho zetu kwa ukombozi Jesus must be born in our hearts this was said unto you a son has been born not 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 within you and to inside you you understand this eh? and to you a son has been born ajili yetu mtoto amezaliwa and to you ndani yetu amezaliwa mtoto hallelujah amen not together with you but and to you ndani ya in you jesus has to be born this is the purpose of god to save your soul to save your heart to heal you to redeem you to take you from one level to another level for uh, to save you from your calamity to save you from witchcraft and wizard hallelujah oh. Jina la Yesu lina nguvu na mamlaka ameshindwa kwa kaao sema maana it doesn't matter who be which to you this year he has failed because Jesus has been born now into your heart he will he has got all the powers and the honor and authority and power to save you from those calamities it doesn't matter how you came from Ghana oh, say amen. amen it doesn't matter how you came from Zambia how you came from Congo hallelujah as, as long as Jesus is born into your heart today he shall save you from where he came from from the from the lineage boundaries he is able to change your situation say amen, amen. Haizuru natoka wapi ulizaliwa namna gani ukimpokea Yesu ndani ya roho yako leo atabadilisha yote katika maisha yako. Haleluya. Amen. As we say Abba Father. Maana tunasema Baba. Toto we say Abba Baba. Maana tunasema yeye Baba. Stand up where you are. Mshimame. Go to your neighbor say Merry Christmas. Tusemane. Merry Christmas. Ask your neighbor if Jesus has been born in Merry Christmas. Ask him if Jesus has been born in his heart. Yeah, Ask one question. Who is the Jesus one moja? Yes, we have been born in your heart. Yes, we have been born in your heart. Ask one question. Did Jesus born in your heart? Yes, we have been born in your heart. Jesus born in your heart. Yes, yes, yes. Amen, amen. No, amen. Yes. So mama tuomba basi tushukuru Mungu kwa mtu. Naomba baba katika jina la Yesu tunasema asante kwa siku ya leo. Asante tena kwa kutujalia neema yako. Asante kwa neno lako umetulisha siku ya leo. Uliweza kuzaliwa baba ili tuweze kutoka katika upotovu, ili tuweze kujua kweli na kweli tuweke kuwa huru. Baba asante asante kwa siku ya leo. Asante kwa mtumishi wako ambaye umemtumizia uendelee baba kumuongezea na kumpaka mafuta mabichi tena siku nyingine mpe nguvu ya kuweza kutulisha sisi wana wako baba na kila mmoja amesikia neno hili baba usaidie liweze kufanya kazi ndani ya maisha yake baba sikuwe kama vile alivyokuwa asikuwe mtu wa kawaida asikamate neno lako kama kawaida lakini kila mara ikamate mupya na tuweze kuifanyia kazi Oh bwana Yesu tunakuandika ndani ya roho zetu uende pamoja na sisi uwe pamoja nasi ukae ndani yetu neno lako likae ndani mwetu bwana Yesu situache na kutupungukia hata na wengine wote watakayosikia baadaye nao waweze baba kupata ufungulivu kupitia neno lako tunakushukuru kwa kazi yako tunakushukuru Mungu baba Mungu mwana Mungu mtakatifu 
na kuomba siku yote ya leo jioni yote wote wataenda nyumbani wende kwa pamoja na wao wote watashangilia wataenda kuselebrate mahali mbalimbali babu tutukuze kwa wana wako kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba hivi tukitarajia ukatenda maajabu kwetu amen amen can you clap for the god we be seated for one minute on a, on a 31st December we have a mighty overnight. 31st December we have a mighty overnight.